I think we have to be willing to embrace those mess messy, difficult conversations if we want to see our friends and our family come to Christ. Or maybe you grew up in a family that wasn't just kind of, God wasn't talked about, but you grew up in a family that was very anti-God, atheistic, whatever, and you know, you know that if you go and you share your, your, your faith with your family and your friends, that you're going to be met with a ton of resistance and you've just been putting it off because you just don't want to deal with that. I think we have to be willing to deal with that mess if we're going to see our family come to Christ. Some of you have coworkers or friends or what, the life that they're living, the, just the lifestyle that they're living is just so far from God. And you haven't been willing to go and to share your faith with them because you're just, man, the, the, the passion, man I just, it's just going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be messy. I believe that we, we should have to deal with that mess. We're going to have to deal with that mess if we want to see those coworkers and friends come to Christ. And we have to go and we have to love them with the, the love of, of, of Christ. Does that mean we, we compromise in our beliefs, our standard? No, we never compromise in our beliefs. We never compromise in our standards. We never compromise in what the Bible says, but we actually have to do what the Bible says. And the Bible says go into all the world and tell them about Christ. It doesn't say just go into the parts of the world that have the same worldview as us and the same morals. No, it says go into all of the world, including those parts that believe very, very different things than us.